Janet Jackson, 51, shows off her post-baby curves in for sexy looks as she heads back on the road for her State of the World tour. She's endured a tough few months after splitting from her husband in April, just weeks after welcoming their baby son into the world. But Janet Jackson ensured she was back with a bang as she resumed her State of the World tour in Vancouver, Canada, on Tuesday night. The singer, 51, who gave birth to baby son is in January, made four costume changes throughout the evening, first sporting slinky head-to-toe black before swapping into a form-fitting white turtleneck and later a hip plant look. Janet kicked off the concert in a clear ridge-bearing black jumpsuit, belted at the center, which evoked strong feelings of her look from the 1986 hit Nasty. The hit met her tied her red-brown traces into a plant ponytail of textured waves as she strutted her stuff on stage. The singer topped things off with patent leather combat boots while performing her moves in front of a crowd of adoring fans. While clad in black, Janet embraced her dark side, performing a loaded chair dance upon a male backup dancer. For her next look, the newly single singer switched into a classic 90s ensemble, sporting mid-rise blue jeans with a curve-hugging turtleneck. She added a modern twist with knee-high denim boots by Christian Louboutin that seamlessly melded into her jeans. Turning around, the All For You crooner offered a handsome view of her full rump. Next, the mother of one cut a fashion-forward figure in a black tunic worn over a long layer of flannel and track pants. The denim jacket covered her shoulders at the start of the song, as she pulled her hair into a sweet bun with the on-trend ensemble. The Jackson darling brought the drama with her fourth look donning a bewitching maxi skirt while using a cane as a dance prop. Janet is happy to be on tour, after having to reschedule the last leg of her Unbreakable World Tour in 2016 due to her pregnancy. Her show, which features 35 hits and fan-favorite tracks, received high praise from critics when it kicked off September 7 in New Orleans and heads to Seattle, Portland, and Reno, Nevada.